It's a beautiful sunny day in the homestead and I've got my battery board out charging in the sun. Um, it's been miserably cloudy and cold for days and it's the first chance since I made this to get it out and charge. And by the way, this only reason this thing is limited to only good days is because it's not exactly protected from the uh, elements. So um, I can only use this on bright and sunny days where there's no risk of snow or rain because lithium ion batteries and water do not get along. Otherwise, a solar panels are great in uh, winter, which you will already have seen on a different video. Got some, I don't know if you can see anything, it's shady back here. Got some uh, three metal cans, 55 gallon drums, and two uh, plastic ones. We went on a little road trip, these are food grade. That had uh, pineapple juice concentrate, and I forgot what these had. I don't know where the label is. But they were all food carrying uh, containers, and they are gonna carry food for us. The ultimate in off-grid homesteading is to try to be self-sufficient, and we are going this year to make our own chicken feed. So today we got barrels, and tomorrow we go get corn. I already got some oats, and we got wheat coming. So uh, really cool. We're trying to reduce costs. The price of feed is up, and we're getting raw grains this year to make our own chicken feed and keep our own containers. And this is a lifetime investment. Take care of that, and that's once in a lifetime investment. That's it. So that's great. Got a good deal, too. <laughs> it makes a funny noise. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> We're all playing with the barrels. <laughs> These were actually clean and dry. I'm very pleased. And we gave the rims and the interior a quick wipe down. And I'm gonna take the rings and lids in to the shower and give them a better wipe down because they were not as clean. Because that's where the majority of your dirt is gonna get. So, not bad, but I just wanna be sure because that's gonna hold food. <laughs> the children are playing. <laughs> Up here I have an ongoing charging station. I'm always doing random batteries here on the power supplies. I've got a battery capacity tester running all the time. And another charger here. I've got a USB charger over here that for now I can only plug in something with wires, but that'll be changed soon. I've got more of them coming in the mail and I'm going to build a big charging board and I'll have a big 5 volt power supply to run them. But this is ongoing, and uh, I try to be really safe. If I see, let me see, here's one, hold on a second. Anything like that, that has been damaged in shipping in the box on this way here, does not go on the bench top. That is a reject. I know a lot of people are concerned for my safety here, and so am I. That doesn't even go on the bench. Also, I've got my laser thermometer, and as I work, I'm always checking uh, 79, this is uh, ending its charge cycle, let me see, 83, I'm always keeping an eye on 82, 76, that one's relaxed. Here's the discharge cycle over here, 18650s, 84, that one's a little high. Yeah, oh, it just finished its discharge cycle. Um, I can also feel it. If it doesn't feel bad to touch, then uh, that's okay. But if anything feels hot or checks out with the laser, at any time while I'm working, it goes out of here. That is an absolute given. So I'm constantly, throughout the entire cycle, I'm constantly feeling 
the batteries and hitting them with a the laser to make sure that I'm I'm working safely. Everything, the discharge, the capacity tester, make sure everything. These are actually cold to the touch. These Samsung batteries are amazing. Always checking everything. So normally I don't use my left hand with my ring. I use my right hand, but I'm holding the camera. Anyway, I'm trying to be extra extra safe and careful with all these as I go. But we're working on 18650s for mobile power and mostly Samsung batteries and flat cells for all right there's a stack getting ready to go into a battery bank for powering the workshop and then little guys like these I'm getting prepared to go into solar powered generators all on my electronics channel but just want to let you know here what's going on for those who are interested in learning about building these I'm really charging up the batteries today. I'm loving it. I'm just swapping them out as we go along here. And uh, it's looking good. I got three more to swap out. A beautiful, beautiful winter day comes to a close at the off grid homestead. Isn't that incredible? It was an awesome day today. That is just amazing, isn't it? You don't get that every day. Wow. That's just peaceful. <laughs> Melanie's taking photos. I hope she gets some good ones. Well, that's it for this day. Good way to end it. Now this is homesteading. 600 pounds of corn straight from the farm on our truck we got our 55 gallon drum ready to go food grade one time used with uh, food Melanie said that's not a hundred pound that's a 50 pound bag I said pick it up she tried it she said yep that's a hundred pounds <laughs> that doesn't look like it but they're heavy well we're gonna load these in we'll get them in the bins and get them out put away for uh, safekeeping and then use them for uh, feed as needed. Some for us, some for the birds. So, we got home and the corn that we asked, this is dry enough to put away in containers, right? And he said, yep. I said, this is dry corn, right? Yep. We got home and uh, I don't know if the lighting's not good in here. It's not dry corn. It's not, you can see the kernels are not all shriveled up. Um, the kernels should be all wrinkled up and shriveled if that was dry corn. And it's not. I can almost put my fingernail into these. Right there. That is wet. Okay. So, improvised food dryer. <laughs> I spread out um, a 100 pound bag on the floor in here. It's a bit of a mess because I had to make a path. I spread it out on the floor on burlap bags and I'm going to put a fan over this and I'll just keep rotating it through and process it out. Some of it I'm going to put immediately on in the food dehydrator and some of it I'm going to put in the oven on trays for our consumption, for our own purposes, our own use. That way it's cleaner and it's dried faster and guaranteed. And this stuff will be for chicken use, that's fine. I want at least a 100 pound bag dried for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and process it with all that I've got. It'll make for good video. Improvised homestead corn drying. I've got boxes and boxes of batteries. Here's a, uh, oh, a little over a kilowatt hour. Let's see, there's um, 900, 200, so that's 1100, uh, 12. Almost 12, 1,300, um, 1.3 kilowatt hours of power. Down here, I've got a whole mess of batteries, and that's a little over about 4.4 kilowatt hours of batteries. I got some odds and ends up here. I haven't even calculated them. There's uh, four amp hour batteries. Down under this one, there's another uh, three point something kilowatt hours of batteries. I forgot 
There's two boxes here piled on top of each other. And down under the shelf, I highly doubt you can see in there, there's a lot of batteries. So on my last load, my last haul, I got nearly 10 kilowatts of batteries from Battery Hookup. Really looking good. And I am making battery packs. Let me show you. Over here, I uh, this is a one parallel section of a 32 amp hour battery bank or battery pack. So I'll have three of these together. I've got two soldered up already. And I'm going to combine these in series. I'll have three sections. I've got another one to solder. And all that's on my electronics channel, but I just want to share with you the the energy energy density of these batteries. These are Samsung foam batteries, and I'm simply soldering wires onto the top. I'm covering off the original battery uh, power output for safety. I taped them off, and then I solder leads onto the top, and then you get what you see here, and I tape them together. I just simply tape them together, solder the terminals together. I still got to join these, and that is a one parallel uh, section of a 32 amp hour battery bank. Or, well, it's going to be one battery when I'm done. But this is 4 volts, 32 amperes right here in my hand. That is insane. So just imagine three of these together, and that's all it takes to make a 12 volt, 12.6 volt, 32 amp hour battery pack. Crazy. It's smaller. Let me hold on a second. 32 amp hours is actually going to be shorter and narrower. It's almost as tall, but it's not going to be as long and it's not as wide as a 7 or 8 amp hour lead acid battery. 7 or 8 amp hours, 32 amp hours. The energy density of these things is insane. Um, I haven't done any of these yet on video on my electronics channel putting these together I will soon and I'll probably remind you here and let you know to go check it out but I got a lot of stuff going on these I'm figuring out as I go along once I've got one built I'll be doing one on video on my electronics channel but I just wanted to share with you what I've been up to this week massive power to improve the off-grid homesteads battery capacity I have corn all over the place. There's corn on the floor and it's drying out. It already feels different. It makes a different sound when it hits the ground. This is almost ready to go. Awesome. I got corn drying in the oven. Looking good. Got the pilot light in there so the corn dries out nice in there. Got corn drying in the office upstairs. Some of you may remember the homemade food dehydrator that I made a few years ago, a couple years ago, and I'm using it. Actually, we've used this for quite a few things this year. I've been wanting to bring it back out and show you. It's got these big trays, these big plastic trays that uh, we salvaged from an old food dryer that my mom had when we were kids, and uh, just sitting here. It's uh, shriveling up and drying up nice because it's low humidity because of having heat in the house, uh, wood stove, and it's drying out beautiful. Corn all over the place. And upstairs I've still been working on batteries and charging and testing. And, uh, well, it's a good thing to do while my rib is healing up. So hopefully I'll get to work again soon, but I still got some pain. I have, by the way, a mess of these, a whole mess of these, Zebra Enterprise Companion little devices. Now they are not a cell phone, but they have push-to-talk functionality, barcode scanner, 8 core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of, um, what is that, MCC memory, 
uh, flash memory, and um, Android 11, upgradable to Android 12. I am selling these, so if anybody's interested, somebody already reached out to me. And uh, I'm making a special price for my viewers, so if anybody's interested, just uh, email me. These are, I'm going to put, I'm going to keep some of these for myself, and I'm going to put um, Windows, not Windows, I'm going to put a web server on one of these and play around with it. I'm going to try to put Linux on one of these. I'm going to try to run a uh, web server, because this is about equivalent, I'd say, um, or more, powerful than a Raspberry Pi 4 because it's an 8 core with 4 gigs of RAM and I think it's quite impressive and it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all kinds of other functionality these I'm I'm uh, charging them up I'm testing them checking their battery capacity they're testing about a hundred percent battery capacity low cycles on these and then I'm factory restoring the software but they're really powerful little computers and uh, I'm gonna have some fun with them so if anybody wants one, let me know. These are going out. These are already sold and uh, heading out in the mail. Anyway, um, that's it, guys. I just want to say i a uh, little bit late, but I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving and safe travels. We uh, had our, I would have to say, our best Thanksgiving ever because we were trouble-free um, having a fortress around our property and a guard dog and security cameras and alarms and everything else gave us the most peaceful Thanksgiving I have had in nine years. Trouble free. And I am very thankful for that. So looks like it's going to roll out to be a good ending of a good year. And uh, a new one to start coming soon. Well guys, I'll wrap this up unless something comes up uh, in, the, in the morning. I'll wrap this up and get this video up to you guys. You can see what I've been doing. Please like this video. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't. We got some awesome and exciting videos coming to the Off Grid Homestead. We are going to be fully off the grid soon. And I'm working on some solar panel deals here. So we'll see how that works out. Talk to you all later.